You need to try these. I think they're called like Prince biscuits at home, but wow. So we've pretty much picked up all of the basics. I've got my yogurt of a night and mornings. Um, I've got eggs, iced coffees for when we just found the pool, and other little bits of snacks. I'm absolutely starving. I don't really know what's going on. You can tell I've just got off the plane. I think we're just going to have a quick sandwich, put some sun cream on, and head straight to the pool. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the fit. Pretty casual. We've both gone no makeup vibes, so that's why I've done my bangs to make me look a little bit dressier. Um, we don't really know what we're having for dinner. We're going to head into town. Definitely do not want another sandwich. Definitely not. Probably something like tapas I definitely want a sangria or a drink of some sort as it's day one. So I'll let you know where we go. Day two, and we're starting the day with the Weetabix bowl. If you follow my Instagram, you will know this is my favorite. So it's day two, but we've just been on the beach chilling and we're trying to find somewhere for lunch. We're just walking down the beach front now. I'll let you know what we get. I don't know if we're gonna go out for dinner as well today. I'm just gonna see where the wind takes us because we can cook at home, but then if we fancy going out a bit later, we probably will. Now half past seven and lunch was unreal today, but we actually aren't gonna go out. We're gonna cook here. We've got some chicken that we bought from Lidl that's in the fridge and it's already pre-flavored, sliced. We literally just throw it together. I'm gonna have that with some wraps just because lunch was too good and we're sort of, I'm not full, but we're gonna get cooking. I think we needed bigger racks. We've got a great setup going on. A little bit of a flickering light. I'm gonna try it. Mm, good flavor from Lidl, but my wrap is just falling apart. But we've got a good setup. Got some dream makeover going on. And that's our night. See you tomorrow. So we started our day with a beautiful walk until... It was perfect time to get a coffee. We are on our way to our Taya. So that's like a half an hour journey for us and it was where somewhere we used to go when we were younger. We're staying in between Valencia and 
Alicante um, and this is near Benidorm so I don't think it's as far as Alicante but it's like yeah half an hour away and all I can remember it's like an old town Spanishy old town white buildings and then we've got a mission for tonight haven't we mum? Sangria! Sangria! <laughs> Sangria and tapas hopefully somewhere will do that for us but I will take you around the old town and then see you at dinner So we are in the main square of Altea, very busy as you can probably hear. Um, what we've got here and apparently it's called Little Italy. So it looks like we're getting pizza for dinner. Maybe they'll do sangria, I don't know. But the search for sangria is still on and we're in special. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I got banana split and coffee flavor, and then there was this gorgeous music playing. A little bit frazzled. It's day number four. We've got the air cord blowing. We've been on Denya Beach all morning and it's been lovely. We're just getting a little bit too hot and my legs were turning a little bit red. So we're gonna go and grab some lunch. You can probably see the general idea. So we're sort of having like one meal out and the rest we're having inside. Breakfast are pretty plain and simple. Even fruit, yogurt, basically what I have at home with like cereal. So I don't know what we'll be cooking tonight, but I'm more focused on what we're having now. So we're going to go into the main town of Denya, where there's literally so many restaurants on offer. So I will take you around with me. Is Patatas Bravas supposed to be wedges coated in ketchup and mayo? We're going to have to try another one somewhere else because very nice, don't get me wrong. Very, very good. But is this true potatoes brothers? I don't know. We have got an omelette with some vegetables. I was just craving vegetables. We have eaten like some as like sides and stuff, but just not enough. Um, so tonight as we're in, that's what I've got. We also had an old time favorite for dessert. When we found these in Lidl, this was our reaction. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but they are so good. So it is day number five and we are back on Javier Beach. Lots of people. It is nicer than it looks, I promise. I think it's just the colourful umbrellas that make it look a little bit weird. But it is really, really nice and super warm and the water is so clear when you get in. I'm going to take you through our snacks for today because I haven't really done that. We always have our waters. Probably not enough for the amount of time we're here, but we have one each. And then today we have cashews and dried fruit. I think it's just raisin, or is it cranberries? I don't know, but this is what we've got for today. And then today we are going to a really nice bar in Denya, which has music because we're looking for somewhere that has music of an evening. It's called Basta in Denya. And that's pretty much the day. This ice cream parlor had so many options, I didn't even know where to start. But I got creme brulee and blackberry. We are on a beautiful walk to dinner. We're all dressed up nice. Here's Mama G. And I still don't know what the restaurant's like. I always do this thing of like looking up the menu before I go. And I haven't really done it this holiday. So we're just gonna see what the menu brings. Let me show you this beautiful walk.
So we are in our uh, restaurant. We've got a fan right behind me. The band is setting up so there will be live music. But first up, we have got an that was honestly the nicest evening, the best music, but it's never too late to go into the fridge and get a Prince biscuit for dessert and a tea with some Netflix. So it's day number six, I think. So we're counting down. We went to have you for the last day and it was so nice. The temperature was just right. We didn't feel like it was getting too hot. And I'm not that hungry, but I can't eat, if that makes sense. So I'm going to look in the fridge, see what I can rustle up. And I'm going to chill by the pool and go out for dinner today. going out for dinner it's our final night it's literally golden hour um so i thought i'd put orange on because this is probably the most tanned i'm gonna get we are going back to denya and we're gonna have some tapas hopefully get some paella he is mom looking gorgeous as Hi. ever and yes definitely on the hunt for paella and that's about it i'll show you what we get <laughs> Is that not tapas? Good sangria though. Good sangria, my mom said. But. Is that not tapas? I thought Pyana was tapas. But anywho, we've got starters coming. was such a nice meal that it was definitely the most Spanish we've had that sounds so silly because we're literally in Spain but all of our meals I don't know there was just something about it that everything came out and it we felt like we was in Spain but I've come to tell you about my finger to cut a long story short I cut it in the door it's not like the actual nail that's cut it's like the skin and the nails come away yeah whatever um so I plastered it up and now it's time for Netflix Biscuit and tea. It is the last day. Day number seven. I don't know why I've listed the days. We are at Pura Beach. So I've been to Pura Beach in Portugal, but this is obviously the one in Denia and it's literally like just a pool and a sunbed. Um, but just nice vibes. So hopefully there's music going around the pool and that'll just change up the scenery. I'm gonna stay for lunch here and then chill at home because tomorrow, even though we've got the full day, still needs that like, pack clear up and stuff so that will be that so the last day of tanning that's the aim of today i don't know why i've done aims i've done the aim we still haven't had paella we'll see Just been given a complimentary smoothie. Banana, pear, strawberry, orange. I think that was about it, but I'll take it. So we are back home from our beach day. It's roughly, I don't know what time it is, like half eight. Too late for dinner and it's so hot. Even like inside with the aircon on. We are, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna cut this apple off, eat the apple, and then tuck into my last pudding. So this is it, the final supper. Um, we're just clearing out the fridges and stuff now. I am cooking up a storm. I've got some chicken kebabs that we need to eat. Got some stuff that I think we're just going to throw away, but they've got some other people coming next week. So we're actually able to just leave stuff in the fridge that won't go off. So not too much food wastage. We're going to try and use as much as we can now. Okay, not the most appetizing as you can see, but you cannot beat cheese on toast. It even gets a hay wiggle. So good. We are 
on route back to the airport. A lovely week, but I think we're ready to go home now. If you're still watching, good on you. I know it's been a little bit samey, but all of the restaurants that we went to were so nice. And I just wanted to sort of take you for a week of being on holiday, of just being able to be free with whatever you're eating. There is no such thing as good or bad foods. When you're on holiday, you want to enjoy yourself, so don't put too many restrictions on yourself. But then you don't have to overindulge in it. So I hope this sort of gave you a balance of, yes, we wasn't at a hotel where you had to eat hotel food. We had the luxury of cooking for ourselves. And then only we, only, we could have gone out for breakfast, lunch and dinner, but we chose to just have one meal out and that is what we enjoyed. I obviously didn't have the camera on the whole time. So yes, I might have eaten a biscuit without you guys seeing. So it wasn't total true to everything that I ate. And that's the sort of things with what I eat in a day as well. Like if you see them on Instagram or other sort of things that I've just done. I'm sure some people would snack on something or take a picture of the crisps that I had on my plate. But I definitely did have some more crisps after I've eaten. So I just wanted to express that as well. So yeah, what a week. I am going to Paris next week. So please like and subscribe if you want to see another travel sort of vlog. And yeah, so stay tuned for some more. I just want to document this really last sad moment. My final Prince biscuit. Even though you can get them in the UK, they don't taste the same. <laughs>